What's up? Oh, woke up a little late this morning, but we're on the way to get the cardio done. So, we do cardio at a different gym. The gym that we lift weights at doesn't have a step mill, and that's the only option for cardio, really. You gotta do the hard stuff, so. Headed there to our local fitness center to get that done. And then after that, we'll go home and watch me eat my first meal of the day. Wanna be the one, wanna save you. Wanna be the one, wanna save you. Wanna be the one, wanna save you. get changed right in front of it and hop on. Half the time you go to the change, you come back and I take it and we don't got time for that. All right, we got 50 minutes on this, so we're gonna get her done. Nice and easy, nothing to it. Getting a little cool down now. Yesterday's cardio was a great session. I, I'm not gonna say yesterday was easy or anything, but today was definitely tough. I'd say that had to do with, again, my, my body's still adjusting to that new diet that I started five days ago. And uh, we trained back kind of late last night. We did all those heavier deadlifts that you saw. And uh, so I was dragging my feet a little bit, but I still, I think in 50 minutes I got 237 floors. So I'm always around there, like anywhere from 230 to 240. I try to keep the intensity up when I can. I try to increase the speed when I can, like uh, if I feel like I got the energy to do it. Just like, just like weights, guys, like when you're trying to get lean, you gotta push the cardio. A lot of people just go through the motion of the cardio. I've said this a million times before, but if you really want the results, you progressively overload your body the same way with the cardio. And in turn, you just lose more body fat. You know, you push yourself, you know, get into that zone of being uncomfortable. Like your, your mind should be telling you that you want to quit. Like that's how hard it is. And when you're in that zone, that's when you're making the progress. If you're just going through your cardio and it's easy the whole time and you got your breath the whole time, you're not doing shit. You might get a little bit out of it just because you're moving. But I mean, effort is everything. But yeah, so now we're just gonna get a little cool down. I got a little bit of stretching just because we got legs today, so I want to make sure I'm nice and lean, uh, loose going into that. And then we'll shower, and then we're back home for the first meal of the day. So stay tuned for that, guys.
go one right here. So we're doing uh, two and a half cups of egg whites. Uh, we'll cook those up to see that. We're gonna toss some Flavor Guy pizza seasoning on there. We'll use a bit of ketchup. Um, I'll be measuring that with my ghetto cup measure. So that's broken, but I'm very, uh, I guess, ritualistic in prep. Once I start using certain things at the beginning of prep, I gotta keep it all the same. Any change up for me kind of like just throws me off. I'm just weird like that. I don't know. Just getting that like prep mode, monk mode. Uh, so for the but for the oats, I'll do. I actually measure them just because they're the carbs. So I want to make sure I'm eating the same amount every time. So we're gonna do just under 90 grams. So it's pretty much just under a cup. There you go. That's perfect. pizza flavor guide seasoning. It doesn't really taste like pizza, but if you ever had pizza flavored Pringles, it's like the exact same flavor as that. So I just love it on the egg whites because they're so plain. And uh, yeah, there is a bit of sodium in this. I use all uh, salt-free seasonings on my meat, but uh, especially after a cardio, because we sweat so much, I don't mind using, getting a little bit of extra sodium in. And then uh, we just want it in our body anyway, especially when we're going to train weights later, because sodium is really good for the pump, really good for getting blood in the muscle, so it's key. And now, the ketchup distribution. Everybody knows how important this is. Lots of ketchup. All right, we're gonna chop these down before we make our oats. All right, so there's a signs to making good protein and oats. So we do the scoop of protein first. You double a little drop of water on there. First things first, you need a good bowl. This is a designated protein and oats bowl. And kind of as you stir it, it really thickens up, especially when you have a full cup in there like I do. So you might have to add a little bit of water as you go. Just because you don't, the protein can get kind of clumpy and gross. And when this is your favorite meal of the day, it has to be perfect. Yum. And now, the cinnamon, we'll just do a nice, we don't stir the cinnamon in. The cinnamon is just a layer on top of the oats. And voila! Second half of meal number one is ready to be devoured. Guys, alright, we're at the uh, grocery store, superstore. So, we're just gonna pick up all my prep foods. I'm out of everything, so... Everything that's on my current diet plan we're gonna pick up today. So we'll get in there, show you guys what I get. Just getting the uh, potatoes going. So I usually change it up. We'll go yellow flesh today. So I'll keep it different, keep a little bit of variety in the diet as much as you can. Okay, 
fish. So, pick up cod for the next couple days. So, here you got like the more packet stuff, but every now and then I'll grab something like that if I'm desperate, but generally we got the fresh stuff caught here in Newfoundland, so it's always best, fresher the better. The staple. So guys, I like getting my groceries like every two or three days, just keep everything fresh. So, you know, we got three packs of chicken, so we'll be good until the next. Covers our protein. Now I'm moving on the carbs. While we're here, salsa, one of the staple condiments, one of like four things I get to use. Veggie of choice when you're three weeks out. Just green beans. Nothing fancy. Okay. Wanna be the one. Wanna save you. Wanna be the one. Wanna save you. Wanna. Yeah. Peanut butter. Okay, yeah, so here's what we want. Organic, crunchy, gotta be organic. Peanuts only, it's the only ingredient we want. Quick oats, so the only thing we're missing now is rice for our carbs. So right now I do two oat meals. First and last meal are oats for the slow digesting carbs, last for the day, and in the nighttime for when I'm in bed. And rice and potatoes around my workout, uh, white rice, white potatoes, just for the fast digesting carbs, get in the system, use it for fuel, and then refuel post work. Just rice for the last carbs for this guy. So that pretty much clues it up there now. That's everything you need. Go ahead, guys. And we're still good on condiments, got lots of those at home. We need to pick up the salsa, so we got that. And now we're headed to the checkout. Oh yeah, okay, got that done. Home, get some more food, put the feet up for a bit before we train. 